Hey guys, it's Justin at Anvil Motorworks. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to put together a video talking about radiators. That's right. I know there's lots of discussions around these bad boys and so I wanted to make sure that we take a minute to really understand is an aluminum radiator right for your application and the other thing we're going to make sure that we do is you avoid overpaying for some of the options out there. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so the first thing that we need to understand is the differences between aluminum and you know, the typical brass and uh, copper radiators. So what you'll see here, I've got a aftermarket aluminum radiator on my Hummer H1 application here. Um, I actually tossed out my original because it was falling apart due to corrosion. So let's start there. That's one of the big things that uh, when you're considering a different radiator is corrosion uh, resistance. Now, typically speaking, an aluminum radiator has a higher resistance to corrosion. And that's because you don't have dissimilar uh, metals within the composition of the radiator. So when you look at the factory radiator, it's composed of brass, tin, and uh, copper. And uh, the tin is a fusing or soldering component to bringing those materials together, both on the intakes, the core, etc. And so as you look at the resistance to corrosion, technically speaking, your factory radiator would be more um, susceptible to corrosion because of those dissimilar alloys uh, within the, uh, the composition of the radiator. Now, you can overcome that issue by simply changing out and, and uh, doing flushes on a more regular basis. And if you do have a factory radiator and you haven't done that, I'd strongly encourage you to, uh, to do that because, again, that will help from a corrosion standpoint. So that does put a positive spin on the aluminum radiators. Now, the other component that I want to talk about is uh, the strength, or actually let's talk about the weight. Um, so the weight of the factory radiator is pretty heavy. Uh, you guys are probably, for those who've had to pull the stack, you know it is not an easy task to pull out that radiator, especially if you still have some water in it. So, it is a heavy duty unit, but a lot of that contributes to the thickness of the metals that are being used in the factory radiator, which frankly I think is a benefit to the uh, Hummer and the Humvee, excuse me, Humvee applications. Um, with aluminum radiators, you're probably looking at a weight reduction of anywhere from 40 to 60 percent, and that's standard across brass, brass, copper versus aluminum. Um, and that's just because with aluminum radiators, you have the core made out of aluminum, you have a thinner material um, with aluminum, and that actually helps dissipate the heat uh, a little bit more efficiently. And which really gets us to our next point is that when you have those dissimilar uh, materials, that does have an impact on the cooling capacity. So as I mentioned, with an aluminum radiator, you have an all aluminum construction. So you've got an aluminum end tank, you've got aluminum fins, you've got an aluminum core, and you have a thinner material. Um, and that all helps contribute towards the performance of aluminum in heat dissipation. Now on the factory radiator, you have a combination of brass and the copper, and then of course the tin. And so as you look at the components of um, copper versus brass and the, its uh, heat, its ability to dissipate heat versus aluminum, there are some components that um, we have to consider. So for instance, when you look at like a copper, um, you know, a, a copper radiator, technically speaking, copper dissipates heat better than aluminum. Um, but it's the fact that you have the tin and you have the brass um, of those metals to compose that radiator that actually pulled down that heat dissipation because when you start to look at those materials compared to aluminum, they are actually inferior to the performance of aluminum. So while if you had a fully copper radiator, it would actually perform better than the aluminum, but that's just simply not the case. With the copper radiators, you have uh, you know different materials 
to compose that, that radiator. And so that's what brings down the efficiency of the radiator. So another key point that I want to make is we talked a little bit about how light an aluminum radiator is. Now, when I think about the, um, the Hummer applications and the Humvee applications, the thing that I get concerned about is, uh, frankly, and, and something that I don't think I've seen talked about is the weight. Now, typically speaking, when you think about a, um, an object that is heavier, that object does not transmit as much vibration than a lighter object. And so one thing that I'm seeing is that there are more failures on aluminum radiators in the Humvee applications. And a lot of that I think has to do with the transmission of vibration that we have in the Hummer and Humvee applications. So for instance, um, when we talk about the upper mounts here and here, one of the things that I come across often is that when somebody goes to change out the radiator from the factory and then puts in aluminum, they just change out the radiator, they keep the same mounts, and they move on. The problem with that is that those isolators up on the top, they're shot. They're probably 30 years old and they are shot. Same with the lower one, they're located down here. And so what happens is you take a very heavy unit that's not going to transmit as much sound, noise, and vibration, and you replace it with a lighter one. And with that, you are actually not replacing these isolators on the top or on the bottom. And so what that does is that allows more vibration to be transmitted through an aluminum radiator. Now, um, the, the, the properties of aluminum technically uh, speaking, are supposed to be more susceptible or, or better as it relates to vibrations. But if we look at just the repair of, let's say, a brass or copper radiator, that's a far easier repair than aluminum. And so what you'll typically see, go to a repair shop, uh, a radiator repair shop, and what you'll find is you're going to probably see a lot of aluminum radiators there um, because they've cracked. And frankly, in most cases, those, those radiators are going to be trash because the repair is far more complicated in a, an aluminum radiator than it is in a copper brass radiator. So uh, that's another component and I think a serious consideration to keep in mind as you're looking at you know, uh, moving into either an aluminum radiator from your, from your factory radiator. So again, um, some pretty big components there and let me look at my cheat sheet here see if I'm missing anything. I think I hit it all. Um, in terms of the, the key points. Now, um, the one thing that I did notice with the aluminum radiator is that, um, you know, it, it does have the all aluminum construction, um, but one thing that has come up is the location of the upper hose. So, you know, as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of talk about aluminum radiators out there, and what's interesting is I'm starting to see a lot of people buying these aluminum radiators. Well, let me show you something real quick. So if you are interested in buying a uh, aluminum radiator, um, here's a couple things to keep in mind. Now, there's lots of other uh, companies out there that are making radiators or having radiators made, I should say, and then selling it as their own. Um, and I wanted to show you guys something that's really interesting. I've got my iPad here, and I'm just gonna pull up a couple of uh, resources to show you some differences. Now, um, what I've got here is, and I'm not sure if it's really gonna show, but I did a search for Humvee radiators. And uh, what you'll notice is that Champion Radiators. I'm gonna click on that link. Now, what's really interesting about what's going on in the industry is here you go. Here's a Champion Radiator website and showing a Humvee application. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is this is a Humvee application. So keep in mind that if you are looking to purchase an aluminum radiator, there is a difference between the Hummer H1, which this is, and the Humvee application because of that upper radiator hose location. So keep that in mind. Now, here you go. Um, I don't know if you can see the price there, but I think it's like 304. Well, guess what? That's the exact same radiator that if I go over to, well, let's just go here. 
same radiator that's the difference in the cost there so kind of interesting right uh, the other thing I'll just go on eBay real quick internet come on come on come on all right so now I'm on uh, eBay and you can see there's a number of radiators here all I did was I searched for Humvee radiator and you can see here there's a champion radiator right here 300 bucks probably gonna piss off some some dealers on putting this video together but I want you guys to be aware of what's going on and I scroll up and uh, sure enough here high performance radiator for Humvee application let's click on that one and this is a common trend that I'm seeing happen out there so when we look at this one guess what that is a champion radiator for looks like $799 but I just showed you the website where you can buy it for half that price so that is what's going on um, don't be fooled because there are a lot of companies out there that are buying up these champion radiators and I, I've, I've done the research frankly I was about to do it myself and sell these things but what they're doing is they're buying up stock about 10 to 20 units and then uh, what happens is that stock gets depl uh, depleted so you can't buy it online and then what they're selling it for is you know $700 as we saw $600 $500 etc it's the same exact radiator and to prove my point I'm just gonna bring this back here and show you something get my chair out of the way and let me show you something real quick there you go champion radiator hmm I'm showing you a box but no radiator in here so let's take a look so throw that aside and this radiator right here is actually a Ron Davis radiator but let me show you the actual radiator from Champion so here you go interesting same blue cap as we saw the braces exactly the same as we saw everything is the same bottom mount the same and this is a very nice unit I'm actually very happy with the quality of this unit for the price see there welds look pretty good you see the fins look very good I mean everything looks very solid and it's pretty light see I can easily move this around so the reason I want to share, share this with you guys is again don't be fooled by all these guys that are going around and showing you oh yeah let's we got a performance our own branded performance radiator it's supposed to do all these magical things and uh, all they're doing is they're buying up stock turning it over and making a profit where you can actually buy it online for half the cost so keep that in mind I know I'm probably pissing off a lot of other vendors right now but uh, the reason I wanted to bring this up is I'm just so tired of just seeing this these kind of practices uh, amongst the Humvee community and I know that you guys are just trying to get your you guys Humvees up on the road trying to find you know what's best and I think there's a lot of, uh, shall I say, predatory selling out there, if you will. And hey, good, good for these uh, these vendors if they're making a profit, great. But just know, uh, you know, and there's lots of uh, vendors out there that they provide a lot of other products and they provide good service. Um, some do, some don't. Uh, but uh, that's what's going on on the radiator front. Now, uh, the one thing I did want to show you again is those mounts. We talked about if you are replacing your radiator make sure you replace the mount so as you can see here there's one mount here and there's a cushion now that cushion needs to be replaced so if you're going through your radiator system I would highly encourage you to 
replace this cushion. Now, the reason why this is really important, especially on aluminum radiator, as we talked about, was that the aluminum radiator uses thinner materials. So if you're using thinner materials compared to the factory copper and brass, um, that is going to transmit more vibration with your radiator. Last thing I want you guys to do is go out and buy a radiator. Next thing you know it, you know, uh, because you didn't replace the, the uh, bushings or the, the, the mounts, you end up having to spend another $300 to, uh, to replace it. So that's where I think um, the pitfall of these aluminum radiators really, um, uh, as it pertains to the application on the Hummer H1 and Hum V. The reason being, and this is just my theory, so if anybody uh, has an alternative theory, I'm open to hearing it, but this is my theory. As I mentioned earlier in the discussion, this is gonna be 40 to 60% lighter um, because of the material being used. So that is actually going to transmit more vibrations because it's lighter and it's a different material. If we look at aluminum, aluminum transfers vibrations very easily. Um, and so that's why I think that we're seeing some failures on aluminum radiators. This radiator here, if Ron Davis actually failed, there's a crack that uh, happened down towards one of the uh, uh, the connection points to the end tanks. Um, I was able to repair it, but um, that is pretty common with uh, some of these uh, some of these radiators. Now I haven't heard any issues with the Champions. I know a number of people have been using them. I'm going to probably be uh, using it, and uh, we'll kind of see with my own personal experience. But if I've got a Humvee and I don't have an issue with cooling, honestly, service the radiator and. Um, you know, just uh, just uh, just flush it and, and service it. Uh, I think you guys are going to be fine. Uh, if you have a cooling issue, or like let's say you do a swap, then I can see the benefits of doing an aluminum radiator. But with the factory radiator, I think the reason why we don't see um, failures with cracking and, and such, even though technically the materials um, are uh, more susceptible to to uh, you know, cracking, if you look at the technical specs around aluminum versus copper brass, one is the materials being used on the, on the factory radiator, they're thicker, right? So if you've got thicker, um, you know, tubes, you've got a thicker end tank, you've got a uh, material that's maybe a little bit more dense, and so what that does is that contributes to the strength, I believe, in my opinion, of the Humvee radiator um, being less susceptible to vibration cr uh, cracking versus these aftermarket aluminum units. Again, that is just my theory. So if it were me and I've got a, you know, a factory truck with no upgrades, I'm not doing a swap, um, I would probably um, just keep my factory radiator, flush it, and call it a done deal. Uh, now, that's not to say that you wouldn't get any performance uh, benefit from the aluminum, but if you're doing a lot of off-roading um, and uh, you know you've got your your uh, your vehicle moving around through some uh, rough terrain, uh, I would probably have a little bit be a little bit more cautious in adding the aluminum radiator. I think these uh, Champion radiators look great so far. I haven't seen any failure rates yet, um, but uh, you know based on the the other radiators, it seems to be a common issue. So. Those are just a couple of components that I would think about as it relates to uh, the radiator differences. Again, uh, I just wanted to make sure that everybody here was clear in terms of the differences, but also understanding that um, you know the radiators out there, as I showed with the Champion radiator, um, it's, it's readily available uh, through a lot of different vendors um, at, at a premium. If you are looking to possibly buy an aluminum radiator for your application, just sit tight, go on eBay, uh, go on Champion Radiators, I think .com, whatever, and you can actually buy it for $300. Sometimes around, uh, sometimes a little bit less than that shipped. In fact, I think I saw uh, the Champion Radiators being sold on JEGS as well for I think it was like $280 shipped. So the, the issue you're gonna run into is probably inventory because again, a lot of these vendors have already purchased you know 10 20 units at a time and selling them at a premium but just know that they are the same and i would challenge any vendor out there who is um, selling these like i showed on the uh, on the website to 
prove me wrong. Um, because from what I'm seeing is these are the exact same champion radiators out there. Now, last thing I want to mention, and I think I just touched on it very briefly, if you have a Hummer H1 application, note that the Humvee radiator will not work from Champion. The reason being is that the neck is at a different location and it will interfere with your AC compressor. So that's a big deal. Now there is a hose out there, somebody found a hose that was able to adapt using the Humvee radiator uh, upper neck location and was able to make it work. I don't have those details, I know they're floating around there somewhere, but my understanding is that that hose is very unique for a very specific application and even then finding that particular application hose uh, was a little bit of a challenge. So if you have a Humvee application, not a problem. The neck is where it needs to be, no issue there. But if you are ordering from Champion um, or some of their vendors, uh, just keep that in mind depending upon your application, whether you have an, a Hummer H1 or a Humvee. Now, the last thing I'll mention is that there is some talk about uh, one of the Champion radiators having a Hummer H1 um, application where they are gonna relocate that upper hose neck. So keep that in mind when you're ordering and uh, uh, obviously just wanna make sure that you guys are aware of those intricate details because uh, one thing is for sure, for sure um, the devil's in the details with these guys. So make sure that you're ordering the right radiator. If you have any comments, questions, or you wanna debunk anything I just said, uh, leave, a, leave a note down and uh, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and thanks again, everybody.